All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the Harley Casual podcast. Uh, nice little Halloween, uh, whatever this is going to be. Nice little let's play, what have you. As you can see here, I am <laughs> I am playing Slayaway Camp. This is a a very gory, very um, cute, even uh, puzzle game. Uh, this character is not Jason. This character <laughs> is uh, aptly named Skullface, but it's totally it's totally Jason. Just saying. Scene two of ten. Yeah, in this game you're presented with scenarios like uh, like these, in which you have to kill all of your victims and then make it to the portal to escape. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, it's extremely gory, um, but it's presented in such a cubed, cute format that uh, no matter how ridiculous it gets, it's, it stays that ridiculous rather than offensive. El Fuego de la Muerte. I really like this one. When I first saw that, I about, I about died laughing. And she doesn't go down quite as gracefully as, you know, Melty Cheese Man. And these are really neat. You just, you have to, to time, it's like a finisher basically, a fatality where you have to do a little time thing to try and get extra coins. And that's the only thing. I mean, if you miss it and mess up, it has no effect. You still complete the scene. And uh, coins, I'll actually show you here in a minute what they're used for. Okay, these, you don't want to get in the fire because it will kill you. So you have to avoid hazards. This way, this way, this way. Down. Skadoosh. But yeah, this is surprisingly addictive. Alright, 9 of 10. Yep, 6 moves. Now this one I had a lot of trouble with. Um, let's see if I can do it a little more gracefully this time. I can fast forward you through the solution, but maybe you want to hint first. Uh, no, I want to, you know, I want to do it myself. I did it one time before. <laughs> I think I already messed up. Let's see if I can rewind, or I can just reset the whole thing. All right, you die. Um, yeah, all right. Not enough. Let's try this again. Six turns. See, no matter what, I have to end up. Wait, maybe it was this way. Yeah, there we go. I, I seriously got stuck on this one for, I don't know, six to eight, maybe, nah, it wasn't ten minutes. It was like six to eight minutes when I, when I played the first time. Final scene, a-hole. I like the, the double entendre there. Okay, this one, I actually solved super fast, just because it's like a maze puzzle. I don't mean to brag or anything, but I did a lot of those as a kid. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but the solutions to maze puzzles like that are usually pretty simple. I'm hoping there are actually more of those, just because they're really fun. Okay, welcome to the video store. Click on the shop button and I'll show you something. Oh god, no, I don't want that. Oh, okay, you're just giving me money. I thought you were being a creeper. Uh, let's see, this is where you can, the, the little final scenes or the final cuts after you complete a scene uh, or a scenario, whatever you want to call it, um, they are, you know, the little animatics where you have to click and, and time it just right, and that's all these, so you unlock new ones as you go along, or you can rather purchase new ones with the, the dosh, with the money you've earned. Um, I got this, where is it? I don't see it now. Last time I purchased one, oh, there it is, it's a... Uh, you beat them to death with your your see it with it is that a trumpet I, i'm not musical in that, or saxophone sorry my, my apologies i know i'm just made some music people very angry 
Um, but you beat them to death with the saxophone, and then you implant it in their face at the end. So that was neat. But I want to switch it up. I want to origami, maybe? Or bald, bald-faced leer. Uh, I like origami. Let's do origami. Who needs paper when you have the bloody corpse of a teenager? <laughs> uh, here are your unlocked gore packs. Yep, we get that. That's cool. And then you unlock different killers as you go along. I think a lot of them are just like reskins of Skullface, like removing the mask is the next scenario. But I think you do unlock ones that are completely different. Oh, here we go. I can even... I think that's, that's new or I just missed it before. Ah, I I would have rather bought that to start with. Uh, and then movies. So we just completed the first movie of Slay Away Camp, and now we're moving on to Slay Away Camp 2. They thought it was safe to go back to camp. But it wasn't. Slay Away Camp 2. <laughs> Return to Slay Away Camp. Yeah, so each each video or each uh, main scenario has a an introductory like that, and it's really neat. And the the voice of the uh, the the killer there that that is Skullface, the voice you just heard, and it's really interesting. It's Mark Meir, the same guy who voiced Male Shepherd in Mass Effect. So it's really interesting. He's he's got some range, is all I'm saying. One of thirteen. All right, the cops you can't approach outright Freeze! because Police! that happens. So, skadoosh, and you do not have to kill all the like. Say that there's multiple cops. Oh, that's a good one. You don't have to kill all the cops in the scenario if there's multiple ones to complete the scenario. And just a disclaimer, I do not advocate the killing of teenagers or cops, just saying. Um, this is a video game, you know, this is not reality. And it being of the Halloween times, this game is very appropriate. And I think it's cute and funny in its, you know, grotesqueness. Oh, there we go. to remain deadly. Okay, now you can pass, because you're so fast, you can pass straight through that. Um, to the, to my knowledge, there's no way to take this cop out. You have to, you have to take out the teenager. You can take out the other cop, and I think you have to to complete it. And I may have just done this wrong. Yeah, I did. Let's go back to one. There we go. And then up and over, but because the the cop is blocked in there, I can't get to his sides or his back. You know, you can't take him full frontal. You can't go face on for obvious reasons, as they will kill you. But after you complete the scenario, they poof. So kill crazy. And those little fatalities at the end aren't random. You don't get to choose which one you do to who. It just, you know, picks a fictitious person or, you know, someone who wasn't in the scenario. So this one up here to my, my north, northwest is, uh, I guess that guy's just stuck there. Let's see, get him. And I can get him as well, I think. There we go. Oh lord. Wow. That's <laughs> so stupid. Splatterlicious. Tripophobia? Tripophobia? See, and I've already messed up, because my options are down, which takes me to the hole right and on the left, and I'll show you what happens if you do. Oh no! Oh. So, we have to approach this another way. 
which is, I think I go this way, maybe? And then... Hmm... No bueno. Well, let's just restart. Rewind through the whole thing, might as well restart. Let's see. Okay, my options are up, right, and left. See, I immediately mess up if I go up. If I go to the left... Let's try this way first. There we go. Nice, that's how we do it. Huzzah! We has brain. Okay. Killed him outright. Can't take him out. Because then the cop will get me. Oh, I just messed up. I didn't see that cop. Stop right there! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. No, now we're talking. And the other cop cannot be taken out. Kitchen crush. All right, we get to be in a kitchen now. Uh oh, you notice something? The teetering bookshelves. Very nice. Oh, we should get like the instant replay. I really like how the game has like a um, a very Nintendo style of tutorial where it's teaching you as you go along. Like it'll introduce a new, it'll introduce a new element, you know, teaching you how to use it, and then it makes them progressively harder until you've conquered said element, which is a very, very intelligent design. Oh, that was a limited turn one. My bad. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, I've already messed up. Let's try. Stop. Nice. That was, I'll admit, that was kind of just like guessing and trying it. But hey, it worked out. Okay, so I can't attack that bookcase. Yeah, and everything is just controlled with the mouse. You just click in a direction. Uh, I guess I'll go back up now. There we go. See, that one's a little more... That one looks simple, but it's a little more intricate as far as the amount of moves that you had to do. Skadaa! <laughs> Yeah, I think I've already messed up. Because I'll kill her, and then the only way I can go is into the water, like so. Because here I'm kind of stuck. Yep. So. Let's try this again. We'll go this way this time. Nope. I'll take it back. This way, this way, this way. Take out her first. Ah, oh, look at that. So now... There we go. Cool. It's just, it's so quick. And it's not, I mean, it does get progressively harder, as you can see. And I imagine eventually gets, you know, like most puzzle games, gets pretty difficult as you go on. But the challenge mixed with the fluidity and how, how quick the game is, um, is really neat. Totally digging it. 
kill her. Oh. <laughs> that is just that is just not a good way to go out. I do have enough money to buy a new guy now. Slash the teens before the SWAT team arrives. Cool, cool. Six turns. That's gonna use one, two, three just to get her. Okay, so that takes out. Jeez. Oh, I'm not gonna have enough. No, I do not want to cheat. I am not a crook. But we are going to go back. This is just going to end with me going in a fire. Let's try this again. And I already messed up again. I'm pretty sure. Alright. No. Hmm. Think this through. Think this through. So I go in here and get that guy. That doesn't pan out. If I go up here and get him, that doesn't pan out. Fire, fire, so south. Oops. Yeah, that doesn't pan out either. Hmm. Use your noodle. Let's see. the most effective way for sure. But I only have two turns left. Which means I'd have to go that way. And then I'm out of turns. I'm missing something really simple. Oh, I was missing something extremely simple. Sometimes you just overthink things. Oh, cool, so another maze one. Can't go that way. Oh, man. I think they make where you want to kill this guy. First off, that song was terrible, intentionally so. 
but uh, I mean, you really don't feel as bad for that kid at the end. Never sing that song again. Another, another return to Slayaway Camp. Slayaway Camp 2.5. Okay. Go to killers. Just gonna do that. Ah! <laughs> you get a Michael Myers. Terror into the hearts of Star Trek fans. Ah, cute, funny. And I don't need to buy anything else. Sure, let's be let's be him. Yeah, I guess we'll do one or two more of these just to get a taste for this third one. We're calling it quits here. The nightmare was over, but it still wasn't over. Slay away camp 2.5. Another return to slay away camp. <laughs> Skullface's mom. Okay, so it's going to like reverse order. You start a Skullface or. Well, if, for those of you that haven't seen the original Jason movie, spoiler, I mean, the game, the game, the movie was out in 1980. It turns out the killer in the original Friday the 13th movie was Jason's mother and not Jason. Well, that's cool. You activate the phone. Ooh, that's... How in the world do I get out of here? Ah, <laughs> cute. I like it. <laughs> Alright, let's do one or two more of these. Mm, no, he's stuck. Face. Oh, the, uh. So he gets scared. He stays there. I think I need him scared pretty much in that location. There we go. Nice. I'd do the, the double whammy. I mean, she doesn't seem to be holding a knife outright, so I don't know anyone to be downright scared of her to start with. Unless they know of her previous hijinks. There we go. Skadoosh. And the cop, and then we're done. Huzzah! A grenade, holy crap. Where did she get a grenade? And why did it only blow off the head? Cleanly, I might add. Okay. And another bookcase one. So yeah, this has been Slayaway Camp. Um, it's 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 awesome. I mean, you can get it now while it's on sale. Uh, if you see it in time, if not, like I would honestly, I would still pay nine ninety nine for this game just because you get a lot of content. I mean, for instance, like you know, we have three movies here, and then you have an entire shelf worth of scenarios. And so far as you go along, each one has you know just as many, or if not more, um, scenarios than the the last movie. So yeah, that's been Slayaway Camp. This has been Hardly Casual, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. See ya. <laughs>